Hey guys, today we took a few minutes. I'm going to talk to you about how to prevent wind knots on your spinning reel. It's simple. A lot of times I see guys who are like, oh, it's the braid. There's tons and tons of different kinds of braids on the market. It's not the braid. More often than not, it is user error or there's a problem with your reel. Now, if it's a problem with your reel, it could be this line roller bearing. It could just not be spinning and it's causing the line to twist when it's being stacked on the spool. The other thing it could be is your spool could be shimmed incorrectly and it'll be stacking too much line to one side. So if you ever start reeling anything in and you notice that there's more line back here than there is up here, then you should be worried about your shimming. You should go see your local tackle guy, do a little review online. Usually the reels will come with shims and you can adjust where the spool is placed and how far it goes up and down. And those are the simple things that could be wrong with your reel. But more often than not, the problem is technique. When you're casting these reels, you should be throwing it out and stopping this with your hand. If you don't stop that with your hand, I'll show you what happens. It's not real windy today, so you're not gonna be able to see it real, real well. But what happens is you throw it out here like so, you do whatever. Now all this loose line is right here, okay? If you're in the boat or the kayak, the current's going, the boat's moving, you have this little like drop in your line out here in left field somewhere, and you just do this, which you shouldn't be doing because you should be closing that with your hand, and you start reeling. Now it's gonna be hard to see, but that line is packed real, real loose on there. And then you're gonna make contact with your lure. The pole's gonna bend like that, and now you are packing all of this tight line on that loose line. So you do that a few times, you know, you're fishing, you do that a few times. And I see it with clients all the time and I always correct them so we don't have to go get new braid. What happens is you put that tightly packed line on top of that loose packed line. You do it a few hundred times and you cast out there and you get these huge wind knots. It just pulls all this line off here. It's not the braid, it's not the reel most of the time. It's usually user air. So when you are casting, make sure you take the time. I'll show you how you should be doing it. Make sure you take the time to cast that lure and stop that right before it hits the water. That'll keep your line tight. It'll keep you directly in contact with your lure. It's going to help you catch more fish too because now you know exactly what your lure is doing. You can count your lure down. You can feel when it hits the bottom. You are in touch with your lure and that's important. But that simple just closing the bail is going to save you a ton of time. It's going to stop you from having a ton of issues, okay? I made a video yesterday that was about how to properly get your reel, sp reel spooled. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. And when you get your real spool, make sure you go to your local tackle shop. Those are going to eliminate a ton of problems from the get-go. It'll prevent line twists. It'll make sure it's stacked evenly. It'll make sure it's stacked tight. And you won't have any more issues. If you guys have any questions, just shoot me an email at nick at navarrekayakfishing.com.